To add compound or delayed branching to your survey, first log into your Question Pro account and then select the survey that you want to add the logic to. Make sure your survey is already complete and that you've already added all the questions you want in your survey. Then I'll show you how to do compound first. So I'd like to add compound branching to this question. So if the respondent answers, do you like, answers yes to the question, do you like cake? and the answer yes to the question, do you like ice cream, then I want it to take them to this question, would you consider buying our ice cream cake combo pack? If they answer no to either of these, then I want them to just skip on to the next question, how often do you eat dessert? So the way to do that is make sure you do this at the end of the sequence of questions that you want all respondents to answer. So I, I want all respond respondents to answer, do you like cake? And I want all respondents to answer, do you like ice cream? So at do you, like, do you Like Ice Cream is where I add the logic. So click Logic. This brings up your Setup Logic screen. Select Compound or Delayed Branching and click Setup Logic. Now you have to add the logic criteria. So click Add Logic Criteria, name it, click Next. And then select what you want the criteria to be. So if they like cake, the answer is yes. That's criteria number one. The second criteria would be, do you like ice cream? And the answer also equals yes. So those are my two criteria. Click finish. It shows you the new data segment. And then click continue. So if the answer is yes to both of these questions, I want the question to jump to, would you consider buying our cake or ice cream combo pack? Otherwise, if the answer is no to one of those, I want them to continue on to the next question, how often do you eat dessert? So I click update or add logic. And then you can see right here, it says automatic logic break. Now to triple check that it worked, scroll up, preview your survey, Go through and answer your questions. Do you like cake? Do you like ice cream? Yes. Would you consider buying our cake and our ice cream combo pack? Now, if I clicked no to one of those, it should skip that question, and it does. So we know the logic works. Now, to add delayed branching, I think I want to add delayed branching to this question. So when they say, do you like ice cream? If they answer yes, down here later in the survey, I want them to tell me what their favorite kind of ice cream is. If they answer no, I want it to skip this question. So again, the really important part of this is that you have to go to the end of the sequence that you want every respondent to answer. So even though the question is up here, I still want the respondents to answer how often they eat dessert. So this is where I would add the logic. So click logic, select compound and delayed branching, set up logic, and again I need to add a logic criteria. So I go ahead and name it, and it will be ice cream flavors and the logic will be do you like ice cream if the answer equals yes that's the criteria click finish again click continue and if the answer is yes the question jumps to what is your favorite kind of ice cream if they answered no it skips to the following question so add and update the logic, and you see the automatic logic break. And then scroll up, I can click preview to make sure it works. Do I like cake? Yes. Do I like ice cream? Yes. Continue. Would I consider buying the cake and ice cream combo pack so you know the compound branching worked? How often I eat dessert? 
And then here's your question. What is your favorite kind of ice cream? So you know that both the compound and the delayed branching work.